Hello, custom car enthusiasts, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So, I have not gotten enough points yet to get to the next story mission, so we're going to have to do at least one more car, and really this week I've got quite a few things going on, so I think we're just going to probably have a shorter episode, do the car we need, and get ready for the story mission for next week. So, we've got a little compact car there, a little hot rod, this SUV, an old Firebird, or this Chieftain Cyclone. Really? It's a unique car, so I'm going to get this one. Oh, it definitely is a bit ratty, but you know what? That's all right. Let's see what we got here. So brake system needs fixing. Driver struggling to find gears. So gearbox issues and repair damage to body panels. All right, so let's go ahead and deal with the body panels first. We'll move it to the lifter. Then we'll take off all the parts that it tells us to. I know the hood was one. So let's see here. All right, so front left door, the trunk, left headlight, front window, trunk window, right door window, right. All right. So basically the doors on the left hand side and the left headlight and the front window. All right, so that, 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 that. And I believe the left tail light. All right, trunk window, definitely. So the trunk as well. All right, so we've gotten the left headlights. We got this, this, we're gonna get this. We've gotten that front windows taken out, trunk windows taken out. Front right door window needs to be out. Right side mirror. Front right door window. All right, so I'm not sure I needed to take this door out per se. Let's see if we can repair any of these parts. No, cannot repair body parts evidently. All right. All right, so the hood and the front window I know for a fact I need to replace. I'm gonna have to go through the list a little bit more carefully because it's a little bit interesting there. Chieftain. Did I misspell this? Yes, I did. Fine, we'll do it that way. For some reason, I could not get it spelled correctly. All right, so we need that. We need the front window for sure. And we need the trunk window for sure. As well as the trunk. All right, so let's go ahead, get in here. Let's put them in order by name. And then we can replace this. And that, and that, and that. So we'll start out with those pieces. Let's go ahead and add pieces on. There we go. All right, so we still need the front left door, the left headlight, the front right door window, the right side mirror, the rear left door window. All right, so it does want just this rear left door that we have. All 
my rear left door window, need one of those. Need the front left headlight. And then need the right side mirror. No, for sure I need those pieces. That was not what I was wanting. All right. Let's put in the new glass there. Put that in on there. And the new headlight in here. All right. So the only things we're missing is the front left door and the front right door window. So those are the only two pieces I need to replace still. All right, so front right door window is there. And then front left door. Evidently that's acceptable. There we go. So this patchwork should be what they want. Yep. All right then. Not exactly the way I'd want it, but you know what? We will do what they wanted. <clears throat> All right. So now we need to do the brakes and the gearbox. So we're just going to strip all of this off, get it done real fast here. All these parts taken off. It's sort of sad on this car because I really would love to completely redo a car like this, give it a nice new paint job, everything of that nature. But for now, this is what they want, so this is what we're doing. Alright, so we've got all that out. How does that brake servo look? I think it's okay. Check this way. Yeah, we have everything we need for the brakes already taken off. <coughs> All right, let's get the drive shaft off. Then we can go head over here. We'll have to pull the starter off. Let's get the gearbox out. Not be inside a muffler. <laughs> really, this car is offering a decent amount to do to it, so it's not like this will be an ultra short video, so I'm pleased with that. As I said, I mean, this is the kind of car I would love just completely redoing from scratch, but that's not what the customer's wanting, so we will give the customer what they want. Alright. Got all those parts. Yeah, we got all the parts. Let's see what we can repair and what we're going to have to replace. All right. So a few of the parts were or repairable. Most of them are going to need to be replaced. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase those parts, and then we'll be right back to put them onto the car. 
Alright, so that didn't take too much time at all to purchase everything. So let's go ahead and start with the assembly. We'll start over here. Get that flywheel put into place. Then get the clutch plate in. The pressure plate. The clutch release bearing. Then we can go ahead and put on gearbox. Starter back on. We even fixed that up for him, so I feel good about that. I figure if I'm taking a part off, I'm going to try to repair it. All right, so all that's taken care of now. All right, we got the drum wheel cylinder, the new brake shoes, the new brake drum, and then the really cruddy tire. All right, I'm just gonna have to step away here in order to get to that wheel. All right, we got a brisk. A uh, brake disc ventilated, some pads, the caliper, and the cylinder. And then another cruddy tire. Same thing on this side. I mean, the car is still going to look really bad, but at least it should now get uh, good movement in the gearbox, and it should be able to brake properly. So, safety is important. I'm all for it. And at least some of the panels have been replaced that were really just terrible on the car. I just wish we were able to do more work for it, because it needs more work. That's all right. All right. We should be able to check now, and everything should be good. Yes, it is. We'll go ahead and finish that order. And we have increased the level now. So let's go over here. We've unlocked another point. We aren't up to where we need to be yet on that. So let's see. What do we have left here? This 50% faster part examination. It only examines three parts. Yeah, those are our two options. Uh, you know what? I'd rather... have more parts examined quicker, I think. Or you know what? Could I just hold on to the point? I think I might do that so when I get to these other levels, I can start using them on things that I care about. The examination of multiple parts, though, is sort of a nicety. You know what? I'm going to do that because I do want to be able to know the things when I get to the barns and such and look at the vehicles in the future. So, next one we're going to be working on is this Royal Crown. Hello, what can I say? Those, under, those used car dealers are a special kind. My crown, which I recently got from one of those clowns, is becoming worse with each passing day. Do a general inspection and replace any worn-out parts. Thanks. So we'll get it in here, and it has a laundry list of things wrong with it. I'm just curious, can we even move it to the test path? Nope, the engine won't start. All right. So with that, we'll move it to the, uh, to the lifter here, and next episode we will start work on what is probably going to be yeah, a fairly significant engine out type of situation, I would say. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, 
and I hope to see you all again for more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.